If you are looking into buying cheap and safe FIFA coins, look no further than footcoinshop.net. They have the fastest service, an incredible loyalty reward system, and the best prices around. Use my creator code Inception when you sign up for your account and get a 5% discount with your order. Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Guys, today we have the uh, new Ruben Loftus Cheek to check out. Uh, this card is strangely formatted. I'm going to show you guys why, okay? So... Player bio, six foot three, high, high work rates, right footed, four star skills, five star weak foot. Obviously for a midfielder, uh, midfielder, very good stuff there. Uh, he's strangely formatted because of the way that he is in agility and stuff, right? Because his agility is already at an 85. So because he's at an 85, I, I always forget if the number is 15 or 14. I think it's, it might be 15. Yeah, so I don't even think it's possible to begin with. To make him a lengthy player, which, in my opinion, makes the most sense for these types of cards. Um, yeah, see, so I'm confused by this, right? Because it is 14, apparently. The whole year, and I just don't know the difference, you know? But what I'm looking at is, okay, cool, you give him, like, a Hunter chemistry style, you boost his, his pace, his shooting, and you're working with a lengthy player. Technically speaking, you could give him, like, an anchor as well, um, if you want to give him those small uh pace improvements with the defense and the physical but if they improve the agility wouldn't that make him no longer a lengthy which wouldn't make him as good in my opinion because his dribbling being as low as it is even if you give him a plus three in that area you're just going to be increasing a dribbling that doesn't matter too much on a card that requires the lengthy more because he's six foot three high and average kind of like a yaya Torre region in a way right um so that's an interesting one. Very strange. We're going to give him an anchor anyways. Uh, shooting in a good area. I mean, technically speaking, I could give him like a hawk, to be honest. If I really wanted to, but I think for general experience, it's always that anchor, right? Um, he's got the five-star weak foot to work with. Passing stats in a good area. Dribbling stats. Again, agility and balance is low, so it might feel like a, like a Yaya Torre, potentially. Um, defensive stats being improved. Physical capabilities being improved in the future. Probably still going to give him a, an anchor chemistry style, potentially a shadow, depending on uh, how they actually end up upgrading the card. But yeah, a lower, a lower SBC at 71k, showdown. Hate the showdown promo with a deep passion, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get the card and we'll line them up. Guys, no word of a lie. I literally just thought of this, right? But uh, technically speaking, okay, technically speaking, if this card doesn't get upgraded, it's probably the first full meta right back that we've gotten that's a lengthy player if he doesn't get upgraded because he has the right back position change so that's just food for thought because his physical and stuff like i would i would give him a shadow right now i would give him a shadow and play him specifically in that position to be honest with you um but in the future if he gets the upgrade that's where it gets a little bit tricky you know um so to be honest with you guys i might just give him a shadow right now yeah, I'm going to give him a shadow right now just to boost some defensive stats, test him on the attack if we ever do get those opportunities, and then just kind of go from there, you know? But, yeah, we'll be playing him in the uh, in the midfield setup for the most part uh, to see how he kind of performs there. This card, I'm going to give a finisher to. Oh, there we go. Nice. And then we're going to play them in the 4-1-2-2. Two, two. Loftus cheek. I've actually just switched that at right back, to be honest with you. At some point, let's see. We'll see what the Veebs are, man. We'll see what the Veebs are. Loftus cheek. Instructions on that is to stay back, right? No. So, oh, no, it's balance on that. Yeah, so we'll use that then. Okay, Coolio, Coolio. All right, let's go try them out, guys. In a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And here's the Stryker Jr. starting line. All right, Loftus, already starting off hot, my boy. Goal, Rodrigo plays with Marcus Rashford in the wide positions. And rather than use a strike partnership, they've gone... For nice, good interception there, too. Well, it is without question a very special day. This is his debut match. Stuart, what should we expect to see from him? See, that's what I'm saying about the, the lengthy part, though, man. Like, I prefer if he doesn't get upgraded, that's going to be the case, honestly. I don't know they're going to mess with the agility. In behind for him to chase. Loftus 
cheek. Ronaldo. Oh, I tried it. That's what I'm saying though, like that build up to have the lengthy is super important. Nice, I actually did a manual challenge there. Oh, I couldn't time it because he's coming off of the run a certain way. I got out like a white there or something, maybe. Didn't get the initial one, but we got it afterwards. Plenty of support here. But really sticking to the task defensively. Nice pass. Now with Turam. Ronaldo. On to Loftus Cheek. No, the touch, man. I don't expect the touch to be like that. I just want it to be like a small little touch, then I could just shoot it right away. Not a drag, you know? So I gotta shoot right away in this game. That was a really bad first time pass. Well, he's got the lengthy to get to that. Yeah, sounds about right. Sounds about right. Ooh, nice try on the finesse shot. That one goes straight through him. That's why Vanya is the best, man. That guy will get the reach for you. Oh, I think he's manual goalkeeping there. Ah, oh, come on, man. Manual defending, like, you know, the cursor's there, he could see it. I just gotta get the ball. And here's how the bee's knees will line up. Gianluigi Donnarumma stands between the posts. Marquinhos plays with Diego Carlos in central defense. Martin Erdogan nice loftus. Alongside. Using space on the opposite flag now. Diaby. Nice loftus. Yeah, he's doing well in the midfield. An upgrade would be nice if he if they kept the lengthy on him, to be honest with you. Ah, oh, the dribbling. The dribbling's what lets him down there. That's it's the agility and balance part there. Beauty. Park the bus counter rat. I'll take it. Nice Loftus. And the second half is underway here with the bee's knees behind. Can they turn this game on? Oh, you got it. Nice. I was literally just looking at news as to why uh, Roy Keane doesn't play in uh, testimonial matches. It's just like, it's pretty obvious, you know? That is isn't is not a fit guy. <laughs> oh, he still got it, though. Oh, we're good. Pace. Real 
Nicely done. Good play, good play. Oh, nice try on the reach. He's got that length that you know I gotta do it. Burba cancel? Oh. Good work to win it back high up the pitch. Ah, it was the outside foot too. No. Okay. That's why it's kinda that's why every player is just gonna be Malinkovic in this game, bro. The manual defending is a horrendous. Oh, goes through his legs. That is rich. That is rich. Thank goodness. I misplaced that pass there really badly. I love this. Huh. Imagine receiving the interception properly, but he pushes the ball forward to give him the ball. What a stupid game. Ooh, nice try, nice try. Ah, I got nothing. Oh, still don't get nothing. This game is stupid. He passes it right to me, just bounces right back to him. What a, like, it's just, who, who designed that? You're an idiot. You're an idiot if you designed that. Holy, oh, especially after coming after, like, coming off of a uh, Pez's game? My goodness. Or eFootball? Possession based all the time. Almost. Oh, Loftus. Nice, Loftus. Oh, nothing there. I'm lucky. Nice. Well to put an end to that nice loft this. You know he's gonna go for the same patterns there, like there's there's not gonna be any originality whatsoever, you know, he's just an NPC rat, just like the majority of people that play this game. go right again yep there we go it's an npc man good puts pressure on him that's good very solid Nice goal. Nice goal. Nice little tap shot. You don't have the uh, the flick up skill move with the five star skills. You do that instead. You know. <laughs> nice Loftus.
Nice. Good stuff, good stuff. Well waited pass by Loftus. Turam well positioned. Oh, no animation there. It is kickoff though, so it's hard to tell. Oh, nice try with the reach. Nice. Good job, boys. Work the extra passing angles. Nice. Ah, oh, maybe a first time lob instead. Oh, still got it. Oh, and that shot is not on target at all. So that's a white time strike. That's probably like the 89 finishing, to be fair. Like, maybe if I give him a hunter, it's a little bit more directly to the side. But, you know, no green time. Nice. Was actually a good finesse shot. Oh, that's the dribbling capabilities being a little bit weird, obviously. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the Ruben Loftus cheat card. So. Guys, this review is a weird one to do because if he wins, the upgrade it makes him a different player entirely from the new gen version of the game because he's already currently at an 85 for agility. They literally cannot touch that part of the card for him to remain a good card, right? Because here's the thing, man. This card actually has like pretty good defensive animations and whatnot. The shooting is more so an extra plus to have if he does get into those positions. Technically speaking, you could use him as a center mid, and if he does get that upgrade and he remains to be a lengthy, um, they could add that special sauce to the card to kind of make him feel like a Yaya Torre. Because right now, obviously, he feels like a showdown card before the upgrade, but he still performs pretty decently in game, right? In my opinion, as of right now, I would probably give him a shadow chemistry saw and play him in the right back position, specifically, if you guys did the Raphael Leon card, right? Because Leon is from AC Milan, so he gives you that AC Milan link while working with uh, a card like Lucio. By the way, it's just use Lucio right now. Uh, if I were to like put him in a tier list, I wouldn't put him at an S star just because of the lack of the lengthy, because the lengthy is very, very important to work with as a center back. But he's at the very tippity top of the S tier as a center back because he ha he still has like the most insane defensive animations, right? It's just a shame that they didn't make him a lengthy. Um, on this card but yeah as i was saying about the loftus cheat card i was using him as a center mid you know there's cer certain situations where his lengthy actually does push him into those uh attacking areas from time to time but i feel like for a better general experience and because of the types of midfielders that we have in the game nowadays a card like this in the right back position would be pretty decent while providing you some pretty decent links right because if i go to ac milan right now leon is going to be like the top player to look at right pulisic not so much at this point in the game um people don't really use like florenzi i don't really see him that often theo hernandez is honestly still good but there are better left backs now in my opinion um but yeah i think the liao link will be the big one so it would be for me what i'm thinking with this card is you would basically use like liao malinkovic savage and ruben loftus cheek in the team because i think if that's what you would actually do i think it'd be fine let me see so Milinkovic, by the way, you can use him as a midfielder. He's actually pretty decent there, but I feel like he definitely requires the upgrade for sure. Uh, Milinkovic, Savage, and then I put Leon here, and then I'd put uh, Ruben over here. Right, and then you get, a, you get a nice little triple link setup, and you don't have to worry about anything else if you don't have other Serie A players. So that's not a bad combination to work with, right? And to be fair, even if he doesn't stay as a lengthy in the future, it's a right back link to work with the Rafael Leon card. But I feel like even Doomfreeze would still be fine in this, right? 
Ah, see, he's not. So you probably need like a manager or something. Yeah, but Dutch is not that bad to get for like meta links and stuff for certain players. But yeah, it just depends on how you line up your team. So just take that into consideration when making your team, right? So you can use him as a center mid. He plays that position well, plays well in the right back position. But it's hard to give like a full review for this card because if they don't make him a lengthy on the card in the future, it kind of changes his dynamic. But you know what? Even right now, I, I still think it's kind of worth getting for those general positions, in my opinion. So... Uh, yeah, because he has good defensive animations. It definitely works really well with his height. He does really well for the most part. Not as well as like a Milinkovic Savage, but it's still pretty decent to work with, right? So you can see that his positioning on the pitch was actually uh, pretty solid. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.